Hello, my name is Georgianne Ford. I'm with the Alpha Center for Divorce Mediation. And today we have one of our attorney mediators returning to give us um, information on a, another topic that I think we'll all find interesting. And that's Mike Ruth. So Mike, welcome back. Thanks, Georgianne. Thanks for having me. And I think your topic has to do with, um, I know you're going to explain some of it, but the importance of a, um, creating a budget for um, each person, I guess, and before you move towards the settlement agreement, and I'm sure you're going to explain why that's important. So take it away. All right. Um, I know sometimes uh, when we all hear that word budget, we immediately cringe. You know, it's something that, uh, something that our parents probably told us to do when we were growing up. And, <laughs> and as a result, you know, I, I don't want to be accountable for that kind of stuff. But um, you know, what I'm getting at in this seemingly simple subject, you know, that we're talking about today is uh, just the importance of having that when when you're sitting down and, and drawing up a, a marital settlement agreement. And, uh, you know, just to, to understand what a settlement agreement is, basically, uh, you know, through mediation, um, what we do is is that we have both parties uh, draft an agreement. You know, ultimately, the attorney writes it for them. But uh, it's basically, you know, setting out the, the way that they're going to to divide their property, you know, it addresses all their financial concerns, you know, all their debts and all, all their assets as well, includes child support and alimony and, and you know, just anything that will affect them financially. Um, ultimately, what we're trying to do is make it fair to both parties. So when the decree is issued, they start living individual lives, they can, you know, each go out and lead that individual life and, and each be on uh, solid footing. Um, so we encourage this process of, of looking at an individual budget, right? So, so do you meet the with, with the mediation process at Alpha offers? Do you meet uh, together separately to create that with you or how's that work? So basically we, uh, we have a comprehensive set of budget forms, uh, you know, that, that cover income and expenses and, you know, same thing if you have children involved too, you know, and everything in between. Uh, and we encourage each party to sit down individually and go through this process. Mm -hmm. um, what they need to focus on is the fact that, that it's not going to be a two, two uh, income household anymore, right? It's just going to be their income that they need to look at um, and also their expenses as well. So they need to kind of set aside any, uh, you know, preconceived notions, any, anything from the past, anything from the financial past, um, and, and just focus on, you know, where they are right now, and what the future looks like. Um, so, you know, they start with their with their after tax income and then, you know, basically add in the expenses. Um, one of the things that we encourage is, is that they look at expenses that are that are necessary. Right. Not necessarily what I want to be able to do, but it's just like, what do I need to be able to do? Um, I run into the situation a lot of time with couples that, that they have these expectations, which are kind of out of whack, that they might be living a similar life as a result of this divorce settlement. And, and sadly, that's just not the case. You know, when, when you take that combined income, um, you know, away each, and you had two households, now you have double the expenses and even less income. So we really need to be realistic with what we're doing here. Um, so, so that's kind of what we do. We look at the, the necessary expenses and then we also prior, prioritize those as well. And, uh, you know, make sure that this settlement is going to be adequately cover the, uh, the big ones on that list. You know, I like that the, there's the whole thought of that because if you're not in a mediation process, you don't, you have to find someone to do that with you. Right? Right, right. And and, you know, conceivably, if, if you if you did have your, uh, you know, your own attorney, you could do that. But the other party is not going to know. So the, the biggest thing about this is that you're sharing, you're, you're combining this, you're looking at the other side and saying, well, you know, if I'm really doing this uh, and, and thinking about the other party and trying to be fair, then maybe I should take into consideration what they're going through and not necessarily focus on what I want out of this. Um, you know, one of the biggest the biggest plays in this, and I know, George Ann, we talk about this all the time, is, you know, when there's children involved, right. you know, we're, we're mom and dad at the end of the day. And that's what that's what we're going to continue to be. We not may not be husband and wife. 
So we still have to consider each other because they're going to be taking care of our kids. Our, our focus is on fairness. Um, and I think this, this budget setting process really uh, ensures that that's going to happen. Um, you know, a lot of the times with uh, the child support and the, and the alimony calculation here in the state of Pennsylvania, um, you know, it is what it is. But by doing, but by coming up with these budgets and looking at that, maybe you can adjust those figures a little bit to help out the other party. Because really what we're trying to do is make sure that the party that's paying it can afford it. You know, we don't want to put them in, in a bad way either. So what I'm getting is I definitely have the feeling when this, this mediation program ends, you can walk away feeling like, okay, I know how I'm going to live. It's not going to be the same, but I know how to proceed ahead for a future. Right. We, we do our best to uh, help out with all those uncertain uh, you know, questions that people have. You know, uh, when's this going to happen? When's this going to happen? How am I going to do this? You know, we have certain steps that we take, you know, with this budget being a piece of that, uh, that help people get there. Right. They're able to to finish up with this process and, and understand that they will be on solid ground. Right. Right. Really helpful just to even know about you know, having a budget before we even start talking about the settlement. Most of us wouldn't know that. Right. Well, there, I think this helps ground us a little bit. Um, I, you know, I know people come into, into the whole uh, divorce pro process a, a little bit emotionally unstable. So I think, uh, you know, by having this stuff laid out, um, it helps, you know, bring us back to the ground and say, OK, here's some things that I can do, um, you know, through Alpha's program that will help me, will help ensure that I'm going to be OK. To come to the table with what we need, not what we want in order for it to be fair. Is that right? Right. Yeah. And that's not always the easiest conversation to have with people, uh, you know, because they've been accustomed to live in a certain way of life. But uh, I really do encourage that. You know, we, we have to be, you know, there's some, some things that we talk about. Communication. I know we've talked about that in the past. That's big. Uh, but this open-mindedness as well, right? Uh, that it's just not all about me. And, and if, if I'm able to set that aside a little bit, and be open to what the other person is saying, then it helps with this as well. Mm -hmm. What part of the process does, do you actually, you know, get to that budget place? Is that the beginning, middle or end, would you say? Um, it's probably going to be more like in the middle, Georgian, because, you know, they're certainly not going to have that at the beginning when we're, when we're mm -hmm. sitting down and, and discussing how we're going to move forward with this. So, you know, with, with our mediation program here at Alpha, it's part of the documents that we supply. You know, we do supply these budget documents and encourage uh, each person to, to go through them. Um, and then, you know, if, the, if that doesn't happen, when we do have the financial mediation as well, we, we kind of walk through that process to make sure that the, the amounts that we're coming up with, the agreement that we're coming up with is fair. Well, thank you. And I, the one thing I can say is I always get this feeling like it's, it's make this work for the children, right? We are sitting here together, you know, with this mediation process for the children. You know, I, I, like I said, I, I know it's a, a pretty simple topic, um, but an important one. And, you know, and crucial in, in uh, making sure that the agreement that uh, we work on together does end, end up being fair to both parties. Okay. Well, thank you for being our guest today. And anybody that's interested in talking to the Alpha Center for divorce to mediation or to Mike specifically, please give us a call 1-800-310-9085 and we look forward to seeing you back again.